All right, this is just to talk about this uh, these Troy built, um, but they also go by um, different Coleman's. Uh, they're normally going to be the 2200 uh, PSI ones that have this similar type pump. So it's got three pistons. So you can tell this one doesn't look good. It's been uh, it was in a in the scrapyard, and um, you can. But see, this is where the the grease would help. The seal you got the seals right here. Um, I I don't think this is usually the part that gives you problems. And then uh, this is where it goes into the valve body or the other uh, unloader. I think it's what it's called body. Um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of. Um, blockage here you're gonna I'm gonna show you where you're gonna find the blockage this is uh, the one that I got working um, actually everything in here was blocked up with this white coating basically this is what's gonna happen if you don't use it for a while this is probably why this style pump goes out most of the time but um, I'd gotten it cleaned out. But then when I uh, find, and then I went through the motor, I had to do all kinds of stuff to the motor. But uh, these um, weren't sealing, and uh, I think this one particularly um, was spewing out. Now it seemed like that the seals was were like a had a metal on the bottom but as I was looking at this one it looked like just a regular o-ring so I did find an o-ring that just sat right in there perfectly it was a green o-ring from a green o-ring set that I had and I put four of them in there and then I bolted it back down and it actually works but um, I'm telling you I spent a, a whole day on this uh, pressure washer making everything work on it and stuff like that um this is the one that i actually got going so this one would not be one that would have probably started with just uh putting the grease in there now i've since put the grease in there and as you can see looking at that pump that uh, the grease is going to keep this lubricated and keep down that uh, aluminum corrosion that takes place when you just let this thing sit and so um, whatever kind of lubricant you can get uh, is going to be uh, what's going to help and then you know you've got the uh, because the kit on this thing is pretty expensive so if you can get this going I mean you're going to put a lot of work into it anyways um, like I said I put over a day's worth into breaking down this motor and, and putting new uh, redoing the valves and reconditioning it and uh, lapping the valves and all that so um, definitely puts more work into it than what I'll get paid for um, but this thing probably wasn't used in I don't know um, maybe five or who knows how many years so um, yes and this right here is a Titan industry as you can tell this is a side mounted motor so the mounts are not the same but this part was the same this part was the exact same as that uh that bottom mounted motor um so this is the other part of that pump the, this is the part um that the plungers go into this um seal had come off when i took it off um but as you can see this is going to be the condition of a lot of these that just sit around and don't have any uh, activity. There's going to be a lot of this aluminum corrosion in there. Now, um, this is where the grease is going to... Alright, so this is where your grease is going to really come in handy to make sure that there's good... Um, so you got... Um, I guess these are called loaders and unloaders right here. 
that are going to open and close. I think this one goes to this one, this one goes to that one, that one goes to this one. And then you got loader or whatever these are called, loaders and unloaders here as well. And this is the one that connects up to the top, the part um, where the water um, comes out of. So I think on this end the water comes in and it comes out. This is the one where I had to change out the seals on this top part right here and so all this stuff will need to be cleaned when you go through your pump um, as good as you can uh, and then again the grease really helps in here to just keep all this stuff from um, getting all corroded